Hey, hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install Surfshark VPN on any Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or Fire TV device. Now, after installing Surfshark, I will also be showing you some cool settings and features and how to also test that your VPN is actually working. Now, we know that there are dozens of VPNs out there on the market. Uh, but we have Surfshark as our number one recommended VPN, and we have a complete screenshot guide along with all the different features, and you can find that in the description below. We also have a special discount link that gets up to 82% off and two months free, and you can find that link in the description below as well. So in order to install Surfshark VPN on our Fire Stick or Fire TV device, from the home menu, simply hover over Find, click Search, and then type in Surfshark. And you'll notice here it pops up before I even finish typing. Click Surfshark VPN app, and then click Surfshark VPN under Apps and Games, and then click Download, and then just wait a few seconds while Surfshark VPN app is downloading on your Fire Stick. All right, Surfshark has downloaded on our Fire Stick, but before launching, one thing I want to do is I want to hold down the home button on my remote, click apps, and then I'm going to find Surfshark in my apps and channels list. And I'm going to click the options button with the three lines and I'm going to click move to front. Now Surfshark is at the front of my apps list. So if I click the home button on my remote, you'll notice Surfshark is now here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Surfshark. and then it'll launch, and then you'll be presented with this menu. So you have an option to either log in if you already have an account, or as mentioned previously, if you do not have a Surfshark account, simply click the link in the description below, and you can get up to 82% off plus two months free with our special link. So since I already have an account, I'm gonna click log in, and there's two ways you can log in. You can log in with just traditional email and password, or the nice part is you can actually log in with a code if you're using Surfshark on any other device. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my email and password and then click log in. All right, so after you click log in, the first thing I would do right away is click quick connect and you'll see this connection request. Click okay when this message appears. And then just wait a few seconds for Surfshark VPN to connect and there we go. I am now connected to Surfshark VPN. The first thing I always want to do after connecting to a VPN is I want to make sure that it's actually working. So to do that, let's hit the home button on a remote and then launch the Silk browser. So then once you launch the Silk browser, simply come up here and type in dnsleaktest.com. Again, double check that for accuracy and click go. And you'll notice here my IP address is now changed as my residence is not near Staten Island, United States. So now I know Surfshark VPN is working properly. So let's come back here and launch Surfshark. And the first thing under connected, you'll see that the IP address is now reflected here. So if for some reason you don't want fastest location and you want to change to a different server, um, you can search for whatever server you want up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know search for Chicago since that is kind of more near to where I'm located. So if you search Chicago, and you'll notice their Chicago server appears here. So I'm gonna actually add this to my favorites, and then I'm gonna go click the back button, and you'll notice Chicago's in my favorites. I'm gonna to connect to the Chicago server. A good rule of thumb, guys, for VPNs is typically the closer the server is to your location, the faster speeds you're gonna get. Um, so now let's let's dive into some of these features quick. I'm not going to go over all of them as I have an in-depth guide um, that you can view in the description below. But one big feature that I want to go over here is actually the kill switch. So if your VPN connection ever disconnects unexpectedly, using a kill switch will disconnect you from the internet, safeguarding your privacy. Now you can enable this, you know, from the settings of any device that you're using. But guys, Surfshark is one of the few providers that offers a working kill switch on Fire Stick and Android TV devices. Now, another feature here to mention is protocol. 
So Surfshark offers various protocols. By default, we're on WireGuard. And guys, honestly, I wouldn't suggest changing this as WireGuard is one of the better VPN protocols available. Um, but it does have IKEV2 and also OpenVPN. So guys, I, I honestly would just leave this at WireGuard and I wouldn't worry about it too much unless you're going in the weeds. Um, some other options here, auto connect. So if you just wanna automatically connect every time you launch your device, Surfshark can do that. Uh, so clean web, this is a cool feature. And then also some bypasser options. So bypass VPN, route VPN. Um, again, guys, I explained what all of these mean in my in-depth written review below. Um, same goes for static IP and multi-hop. But all right, guys, that's it. You have successfully installed Surfshark VPN on your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device, and we can now have peace of mind that our connection to the internet is secure. Again, this is Bodhi. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you guys have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.